Something I've always wanted from the world of Formula E is an official game. Now, there's been plenty variations of Formula E cars in games, but I think I've stumbled across something which suggests that this season could be the year we finally get an official Formula E game. Now, I just want to mention quickly, on a Formula E's official website, they officially say that they have Formula E cars in Real Racing 3, which is on iOS and Android. It's a little mobile racing game, which I've played with the Formula E cars, but it's usually just a time trial sort of run. It's on R Factor 2, which is on Windows PC, although PC is definitely not uh, an area of gaming I'm particularly good at, so my experience on that side of things is definitely, well, not really worth talking about. However, something that you'll see a little bit later on is the Forza games. So Forza Motorsport 5, Forza Motorsport 6 and Forza Motorsport 7 all have Gen 1 Formula E cars and there again is rumours that I stumbled across when creating this video and doing some little research for it that GT Sport over on the PlayStation could also be having Formula E cars in their next iteration of that particular game. However, it's great seeing these cars in these games but what really grinds my gears and I can't really talk too much like I say about R Factor even about the newer Forza games the gameplay you'll see later on is from Forza 5 however it's still annoying that you know you get a couple of the, the cars but for me someone who really wants a proper Formula E game there's none of the circuits there's not even a championship order there's none of the drivers you just get your own gamer tag or your own player name above your head it's just little things like that that all add up yes it's great to see the cars but what we all really want is a fully fleshed out Formula E game very similar to the WRC games very similar to the Formula 1 games and like I said I think this year could be the year thanks to these screenshots and these posts on LinkedIn. Don't ask me why I stumbled across these. However, I did stumble across them, a gaming product coordinator. And as you can see in the Your Role section, as a gaming product coordinator, you'll be involved in one of the most exciting areas within Formula E. As we start a new chapter with Season 5, introducing the Gen 2 car, the game has truly changed in many ways, not just on track. Whether you're experiencing it on the sofa, on the train, or even at the race with our very own E-Village, where the gaming zone has become one of the most popular attractions on the site. This role will play a big part in developing and managing our existing product line, including the gaming zone. And here's the interesting bit, as well as helping what our future looks like with products and technology we have currently in development. Now, I just want a little disclaimer again. We do know ghost racing is a thing, although that still seems difficult and struggling to get off the ground. And here's the real meat and potatoes here. Your role, console, mobile and PC. Work with current and future developments, liveries, data, IPs for cars and tracks. I think that's really interesting that both cars and tracks are really trying to be meshed together. So I think this is going to be more than just a couple of cars in a Forza game. To follow up on all game related inquiries, very straightforward. Sync marketing, PR and Formula E and gaming partners, very straightforward. But the biggest one for me, which I think clearly outlines a game is in the works, is work with esports broadcasters for talents, rules and stewarding. And I think if Formula E, then this is this post does come from the official Formula E company and holding company. If they're saying they are looking for people to work with esports, for me, this doesn't sound like we're just having a few cars. Here you go, here's your gameplay. A few cars on, well, I suppose if it was a Forza game or R Factor, what you're going to be dealing with is yes, you're going to have the Gen 2 cars. With esports, it doesn't matter about the drivers as such, but what it does matter about is the circuits. And I think esports, especially. I think one of its targets is to aim at even younger fans than what actual racing can do. Obviously, Formula One have finally started to go down towards this esports route. But imagine a Formula E esports championship. First of all, brilliant. I'm all for that. But then imagine them racing on purpose-built Formula One circuits. You know, we've heard last time out in Chile, Sam Bird saying that Formula E would never even consider going to Singapore, a street circuit, but because it's linked with Formula One. 
So if Formula E Esports isn't going to have the licensed cars, which, like I said, I think they will, but if it's not going to have the licensed tracks, I think then there's big question marks. And so the fact that they've come out and said that Esports is going to be a thing, and they're really looking into it, suggests to me that yes, a game has to be in the works. And by now, I think it makes sense. You look at their numbers on YouTube, I think they have over 600,000 subscribers on YouTube. And the reason I say that is because the Formula One channel has about one and a half million subscribers. So it's about, it's just over a third of Formula One's following. And the reason I think it's so closely linked is I think the generation that watch YouTube is also the gaming generation. I mean, look at yourself, the very fact that you clicked on this video, one suggests you're into gaming and you like the idea of a Formula E game, but also you're watching it on YouTube, which shows there is a clear target market, a clear audience and a clear demographic for this game. Because at the moment, there's not enough Formula E content. And if you look at things, I suppose, like Formula E Voltage, which is having a really difficult time, I personally think the Formula One games has really helped push the sport to younger viewers. I even know in myself that I was a big Formula One fan before the games, but that helped push my knowledge so much further, learning the circuits, learning the drivers even, and even learning the team names, and even little snippets of information they throw in there, all adds up. And if you just look at some of the biggest Formula One creators on YouTube, like Arava, he's openly admitted that he never watched Formula 1 before he played the game. So I think it's an avenue that Formula E has to look at, and I think it's something that seriously they will be doing. Because it's such a gap in the market, and I think for a few seasons now, I understand that a lot of people this year are new to Formula E. But for so many years, people have been asking for a game. And again, I, I mentioned it earlier, you look at series like the WRC, that they've had games, they're not the best games in the world, but at least there is one. And I think that's something that Formula E is missing. And we do know that they, unfortunately, maybe, well, it depends on your view on this, but I imagine a lot of people are going to say, unfortunately, they do have an agreement with EA. They also have an agreement with Xbox, and EA and Xbox are very closely linked with EA Access only being on Xbox. If you're not a console buff or a gaming buff, don't worry about that. However, I think for now, EA is a perfect platform for... A Formula E game to be on. Okay, a game like Formula One where they're designed by Codemasters, a smaller company. Yeah, that's brilliant. But I think for Formula E where at the moment all they want to do is test the waters. Sorry, I was just <laughs> re-watching that footage of me smashing down your lap's season one car. Uh, brilliant from me there. But I think for Formula E, a company like EA where they can say, yeah, here's all our licensing, here's the IP, run with it. Just create a game. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just create a basic game. It doesn't need to be any fancy modes. There, obviously, there doesn't need to be classic cars. All there needs to be is the 11 teams, the 22 drivers, the 12 circuits. I almost said 13, but the 12 circuits, a quick play, a multiplayer, and hopefully a championship mode. That's all we need. It doesn't need to be anything more than that. We don't need no arcade modes. We don't even need time trial, although I know a lot of people in the Formula One community use time trials. I have as well, just to help get practice in. And I think if they can really, like the Formula One games, start to mould this community where there is league racing, because at the moment, league racing for Formula E has to be done on Forza and an R Factor. And I just don't see that happening. Formula E officially saying, yeah, we're happy to do that, but we'll do it on a different game. I, th I think from a marketing standpoint, this is a huge missed opportunity. If they don't even just try, you know, they just need to throw one out there and see how it goes. But if they don't try, what's the point? And like I say, I think there is mounting evidence that there is going to be a game. And I think there is already a game in the works. And yes, it's only a LinkedIn post, but if they're putting out feelers, if there are jobs out there, and that's not the only Formula E game job that is on LinkedIn, that's just the one for me I thought was most interesting. I think, yeah, and I think you're aware, I, I definitely think it's going to be a huge missed opportunity if they don't do it, but I also think this year we will see an official Formula E game. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd also love to know how do you feel if EA 
got the full license. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.